Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at uh, Phantom Mystic, I think that's the name, uh, cliffhanger run through his Ghost Stadium, Ghost Stadium lobby. Uh, his team consists of Defense Deoxys, Umbreon, Alolan Muk, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Togekiss. Uh, his first round opponent is Soul X Fighter uh, ZZ. So let's go ahead and that his team consists of Defense Deoxys, Fortress, Meganium, uh, Sableye, Lantern, and Charizard. So let's go ahead and see how these battles play out. Boom, boom, boom. All right. They're both rocking the Defense Deoxys. Um, both have coverage uh, for them. Um, both anticipating Defense Deoxys on opposing sides or or his opponent is expecting um, Venusaur. And this is with the newly revamped Snarl. So you see that Umbreon is just going to spam these uh, uh, foul plays like crazy. So I think it's the new one. Oh, this might, this was probably played over a long period of time. So actually, this might be the old one. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, let's see if he shields. If he shields, then I'll get a better sense of it. Nope, he doesn't shield. Okay, we'll find out afterwards because uh, I actually have no idea when this first battle was uh, was done. But anyways, he's going to come with Defense Deoxys. That's a bold move, coming with Defense Deoxys, uh, given those bug bites are doing super effective damage, and uh, but does build up quite a bit of energy. Here comes Meganium. Uh, with that energy advantage, uh, might be able to take uh, this N plus the shield advantage. Going to come in with Togekiss. Uh, let's see what's in the back. It is Charizard, which is not good news at all for for this Togekiss. Going to shield. Oh, baited with the Dragon Claw. That's, uh, that's pretty huge, but going to burn this last shield. And this Charizard kind of has to get rid of this Togekiss sooner rather than later, or it's going to get risk fainted down. Definitely no shield. Um, and then just going to be able to counter it down without eating another charge move. And now shields are down. This Meganium is not in a good position. Uh, this Psycho Boost is definitely going to go through, do some decent amount of damage. And it's going to be a race to... It, this Meganium probably has, can only take like three or four more counters and then oh five okay five counters and able to take it out that's probably pretty close though uh it's probably super close on to that um uh frenzy plan all right so gg uh taking game number one in round number one so let's take a look at at uh game number two in round number one let's see how these two players adapt um Interesting coming, like, double, well, I don't know, like, odd pick coming uh, Fortress uh, and Charizard. Well, I guess trying to double up on the Togekiss and, and uh, Venusaur counter. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This is definitely the old Snarl. So um, hopefully in these later matches, because um, it's played remote, we'll see the new Snarl in action. And, oh, Earthquake. Nice. Okay. Well, Earthquake does a moderate amount of damage. And then going to hit this foul play. Umbreon just so tanky. And is probably going to be able to faint it down. And I'm assuming going to come in Defense Deoxys. Might get hit by a charge move, to be honest. Yes, very good chance. Um, heavy Slam? Oh, Earthquake. Jesus, okay. All right, so difficult to count those bug bites. Oh man, took out so much of the health of that defense Deoxys. Um, let's see if a Sableye comes out or Meganium comes out. Is it the same thing as last time? Let's see. I'm gonna hit this and then I'm assuming I'm gonna switch out. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out, doesn't wanna and then the game doesn't really have much of a play. Oh, here comes Lantern with Charge Beam, though. Um, I would say if this is a Water Gun variant, then. Um, but it still looks like it's going to be GG because these, the Thunderbolts 
Um, well, it's still chunking away, to be honest. And needs to get rid of this uh, Lantern before the Lantern gets a second charge move. Because if it does, then uh, at huge risk of getting... Um, I'm assuming Shield's going to come up. And the Frenzy Plan is going to come before the... Oh, no, maybe not. Wow, really? I'm so kind of surprised. This Meganium would have had a little bit more energy. But... And got the boost. Okay, nice. Okay, awesome. So like, that is his round one opponent. His round two opponent is Panic 23, Rocking Defense, Deoxys, uh, Fortress, Umbreon, Bastidon, uh, Golbat, and Togekiss. So leading into this matchup, um, depends if this uh, Defense, Deoxys is carrying Thunderbolt or... It's, this is Psycho Boost, so it probably has Rock Slide. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit less worry, but it does reveal that it has likely uh, Rock Slide as the second charge move, so can take that into consideration. Gonna gonna come in with Defense Deoxys on his side. Really interesting. Gonna go into Fortress. And gonna go with these Thunderbolts that are gonna deal neutral damage and a good chunk to Fortress, but man, these Bug Bites hurt. Uh, this is likely... Uh, just a heavy slam and gonna come oh man I don't know may want to burn the shield but I don't know if this defense Deoxys actually gets to the second psycho boost no um, that's okay probably gonna come in with Blastoise and gonna farm down uh, let's see if the shield comes up could be an earthquake you know ends up being a heavy slam so kind of a waste of a shield but, and then shields down. Um, gonna just hydro, hydro. Oh man, okay. Psycho boost. A rock slide, yeah. Well, rock slide's definitely the wrong move. Um, psycho boost would definitely be the more energy efficient move. It might end up costing his opponent's ability to get to another charge move. Nope, looks like definitely gonna. Oh, here comes Bastidon. And definitely the reason why. Um, Phantom Mystic wanted to bring in uh, uh, Blastoise was for that. Uh, bring in Blastoise was for that Bastidon. Um, this is not a terrible match. It does don't get me wrong. Umbreon definitely loses this matchup, but it definitely still chunks away at this Bastidon, and that that defense Deoxys in the back has energy. So we'll see how these how these two play it out. Uh, and if this Bastion chooses to try to feint down the Umbreon, it might be a risky play. Um, and Oh, nice. Got the switch. But this Umbreon is, is so low that I doubt... It. Oh, this defense Yox is not able to... Wow, okay. That was a huge mistake on that Bastion side. Wow. Okay, really, I thought that defense Yox had some energy in the back, but... Uh, I guess not. I guess it just did a the rock slide on the Blastoise beforehand. So nice play. Um, nice play in sacking the Blastoise. Not that I think it would have mattered. Like, I think the Blastoise, uh, but it did prevent the Bastion from farming down the Umbreon, which was a really critical decision. Catches the lead with his Umbreon versus uh, Defense Deoxys. Definitely makes the matchup. This is a very good matchup for, for Umbreon, even though those counters are super effective. There's no stab on them, and uh, Umbreon is a huge tank. Um, it's going to have to come Rock Slide with no stab. Rock Slide's a pretty good move, but not going to be enough to uh, to necessarily win out the day. Going to be able to survive this Rock Slide and be able to get off this, um, this uh, foul play. We'll see if the shield comes up. Defense Deoxys... This will be very close. Oh, no, okay. Choosing to protect this defense, Deoxys. We'll see if, uh, if Phantom Mystic has something in the back for for it. Um, I don't know what you come in. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's a tough call. Uh, I guess doesn't want to elect, uh, force defense, Deoxys to use these rock slides, which are not, not a very efficient move. Um, I don't know if I would have risked it there, but going to... Now, at this point in time, you definitely try to farm down a little bit. Um, either you make the decision to go Psycho Boost before their second charge move, or 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 try to farm up some energy while counting appropriately, obviously. 
Gonna come in with Bassadon. Wow, interesting. Okay, all right. A little bit of lag on both sides. And definitely this person wants to switch out to Fortress. Oh man, okay. A lot of lag, so that's all right. That's all right. Still in a good, decent position. Uh, gonna be able to do a lot of damage. I could see that heavy slam coming through. Gonna shield for sure. And then might even choose to faint down this fortress, um, but doesn't look like it. Gonna just take it out and then deal with this uh, Bastion heads up. Uh, and then probably gonna shield Bastion's charge move, whatever it is. Yes, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that switch. Um, yeah, I don't know about that switch. Because uh, I think the Hydro Cannon Hitting the Hydro Cannon, either sacking the Defense Deoxys or, or, s or switching, because, like, yeah, it's going to work out regardless, but it was definitely a little bit of a risky play. Um, he was in dominating controls, but uh, still able to take it. So, takes round number two, going against round number three against JL PGO with Defense Deoxys Fortress, Clefable, uh, Blastoise, uh, Magneton, and Tropius. Um, so not a great matchup at all. Uh, this is one of the least ideal matchups because uh, Fortress does double resist uh, all of um, all of a Lonely Mug's moves, and we'll see if this is going to be an earthquake. Ends up being a heavy slam, and definitely wants to try to catch his opponent off guard by running this Dark Pulse. But I I wouldn't. I would definitely shield if I was my opponent, just because uh, it seems like a the right move. Let's see if he double shields and is willing to force the double shield on onto his opponent. He's not gonna come defense Deoxys. Not in a great position right now. These counters are are do hit harder now. Um, I wouldn't shield maybe. Yeah. Gonna psycho boost to to take out this fortress. But yeah, not a great situation. Uh, barely has any energy. Uh, def the defense Deoxys is way lower in health. Gonna Psycho Boost to try to get the shield, maybe? I'm not really sure what the, the point is. And then switching out before the Psycho Boost comes out is like a really risky play. Because this is definitely gonna be Psycho Boost. It's gonna do a ton of damage to... Uh, and then gonna come with Tropius with... Uh, I think it's Air Slash Tropius as well. And that Air Slash Tropius just tanks it. Oh, man. This is uh, for sure going to lose. Like, there's no no way. It's not even a point to shield here because uh, he's just definitely going to just shield. All right. Kind of a weird strategy, but has so much health. In the back end and just gonna uh, take game number one in in uh, round number three Wow okay that was a that was a clinic um, I'm not sure yeah that was a not not great gonna come uh, yeah not a great matchup again let's see how these two decide to play it out Gonna come in with Umbreon. Let's see if Broad and Cliff Fable. No, nope, Broad and Fortress. This is again an okay ish matchup. Obviously, the Fortress is gonna do super effective damage with those bug bites, but Umbreon is super tanky, has the has the better moveset. Um, Alright, let's see. Uh, probably could survive this heavy slam to be honest, but yes, can heavy slam uh, like such a weak move and fortune not, and Umbreon's so tanky that uh, it's still an okay trade off, but uh, losing switch advantage is is huge. Um, oh man, I don't know why coming to Tokis. Oh, man, I think that was definitely the wrong move. Oh, but the Tropius comes out. Uh, not gonna shield. Air Lace does a decent chunk. 
and this air slash variant is definitely way better than um than the razor leaf variant versus togekiss it's able to burn these shields more effectively and got the boost i'm definitely going to shield and then it's going to chunk away at his uh, opponent what could he have possibly have in the back that he's so confident that he could take out blastoise with magneton maybe Defense Deoxys, really? Okay. Uh, I guess you don't want to put Defense Deoxys into Togekiss, I guess. Um, but man, like you could like win such a big. Oh man, miss some bubbles. That those are huge bubbles to miss. Uh, gonna Psycho Boost, and then I think this Togekiss is pretty close to a Charge move. Let's see. It's basically a race to this charge move. Oh, no. This boo the boost definitely uh, helped out. Uh, now we're going to a game number three. Ooh, that was uh, pretty intense. So uh, let's... Uh, that boost is definitely the, the difference maker. Depends on what this Deoxys is running. Um, if it's running... Uh, yeah, no, well, Thunderbolts or... Either one's going to be okay. Uh, going to come in with... Togekiss. I'm not sure necessarily would come with Togekiss, but it's chunking away. It's going to shield. Hopefully shield and ice beam would be the ideal, but shield the hydro cannon, which would deal a lot of damage anyways, but might have to shield the second one. Uh, let's see if commits. Doesn't want to shield the second charge move, which is not great. It might come in with Blastoise to try to farm down, but doesn't want to get hit by another hydro cannon. So just going to take out this Blastoise. Let's see if uh, his opponent has something in the back. Oh, has Defense Deoxys. Um, must have Fortress in the back? Uh, this is going to be a Psycho Boost, which Blastoise will survive. And just going to farm up a little energy in his Fortress in the back. This is going to be a close match. I wouldn't shield this heavy slam. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that was a... Uh, it's going to have to shield one of them, I guess. Like, But I don't even know if you have to shield one of them. Got the shield. Needs to really KO this uh, fortress. Going to survive this. So I guess would have had to shield one of them eventually. Uh, going to be able to KO. And then should immediately switch... Well, I don't know if media switch because then you run into an issue that and loses round number three in a very, very, very close match. This is a, actually no. Is this match number? Well, this is match number two. Yeah, I think so. Actually, I, I totally remember this wrong. Nope. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Nope, nope, yeah, he did lose in round number three. Now going on to round number four against A.R. Sam. Uh, rocking Defense Deoxys, uh, Umbreon, uh, Golbat, and uh, switching out. Going to switch out into hopefully caught that power-up punch. If it, if it did, that would be amazing. And it is amazing. Yeah, this is definitely pre-power-up. Uh, Pre power punch nerf because it definitely should not be doing that much damage. Gonna have to shield? No, no shield. Oh my gosh. That is such a risky play. Why? 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 Why not shield there? Um, gonna go him Golbat, which is a pretty good counter to Defense Deoxys. Uh, let's see if a shield comes up. Does shield, which is the correct shield. These counters are double resisted though. This uh, Psycho Boost is super effective against uh, Golbat, so I expect the shield to come up. And then here comes the uh, Foul Play, which is a nice switch in. Gonna burn another shield or take some health away. A little bit of lag. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of lag, unfortunately. 
Okay, now they're oh, <laughs> this is kind of like this awkward like you're trying to tap and like you don't want to tap unless your opponent's freezing. Unfortunately, this is a very unfortunate situation, but gonna be able to survive. Um, let's see if this Umbreon can get off a second foul play, which is gonna be a very critical situ. Oh man, over tapped that foul play. Um, not great at all. Gonna have to tank this. Really needed to um, uh, either take out the Venus or burn the shield, because this basically is Golbat. It's 100% gonna finish off this uh, this defense Deoxys. I could be totally wrong, but I would have a very hard time because this could be Poison Fang. I would definitely go Poison Fang and then just try to farm it down. If you don't shield the poison thing, then it's GG. So that overtap was huge and definitely um, cost him the match. Um, but that won't really matter in a, uh, in a couple days. So, all right. Uh, going into uh, on round number four, game number two. Going to come in uh, with Defense Yoxus versus Venusaur. And... Gonna have to shield. Uh, the further this goes, the worse it is for Defense Deoxys. Oh man, missing some bubbles. Uh, this is a remote tournament. Like, you should, in my opinion, you should just go with like the safer uh, charge move approach. Like, just go in the circle. I understand. Like in a tournament, you want to hide your animations, a lot of stuff. But if it's gonna cause you to miss some bubbles, then it's uh, not great. Uh, gonna win out the one shield. Uh, very fortunate his opponent <laughs> didn't want to shield and uh, potentially farm up. Going to come Hitmonchan. Wow, that's a gutsy move. Going to come Togekiss. This Togekiss is just absolutely eating away. Doesn't have to block if it if it's the, I was going to say, if it's an Ice Punch. Mostly because uh, Ice Punch is not boosted. Would do a decent chunk. Um Gonna come a nice switch, beautiful switch actually, really nice to catch this poison fang, and then put this uh, Golbat in a very precarious situation, and has energy in the back as long as he doesn't get fainted down. Would you, like this this Umbreon is likely gonna beat this Golbat, or get it down to uh, very low health in range for that uh, for that ancient power. But it's likely gonna, it's gonna beat it straight up, so we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be very close. This I think this Umbreon still survives this poison thing, which is just how ridiculous. Oh, Shadow Ball! <laughs> That's definitely not the right move. Um, definitely should have double poison fanged instead. Uh, not maybe couldn't get to it. Uh, I was just trying to hit the harder hitting move, uh, which is. You know, could be the right play. All right, going on to was this the third match? Some second match? Ah, oh, man, I'm, okay. All right, so not a great situation for this defense, Deoxys. Gonna hit the psycho boost and then maybe maybe bail out into Umbreon. Let's see if there's going to be a Shadow Ball. It is a Shadow Ball. Going to go Thunderbolt. Interesting. Um, and that was definitely a waste of energy. Uh, I don't know. Do you double shield? How, how valuable is this Defense Deoxys to you? Um, comfortable being down a shield. Uh, likely there's him on Chan in the back, and if there's Venusaur in the back, then it's it's not good. Gonna definitely hit this foul play, and then gonna farm up a little bit against this uh, Golbat. I would just hit the foul play now, um, or like right before it does a Poison Fang, which is likely the case right there. And no shield. 
and just gonna farm farm it down. Let's see what's in the back. Hitmonchan, maybe? Yeah, Hitmonchan. A little slow on the switch. And this Hitmonchan has some energy built up. Gonna come Venusaur in the back. And gonna shield. Have to shield. And then, oh, baited with the Frenzy plan. And then gonna take it out with this Aerial Ace or come very close to taking it out. Aerial Ace is a pretty weak move, but, you know, Tokyo is pretty high attack stat. Gonna force the Ice Punch. Not gonna be enough to KO. So, this is gonna be very close. And this Hitmonchan is gonna, I think it's gonna have to do a charge move to try to take it out. Unable to, and farm down by that. Uh, so, nice play on the back end, recognizing uh, what was probably in play in the back. So, and got, got the shield advantage, and that was enough to overcome the, the, the switch advantage. So going into the last match, and this is to play for the tie for first against Spin One or Sp I don't know, Spen One Three Three Seven. Uh, so this is an interesting matchup: uh, Blastoise versus Lucario. Um, this must be under the old. Let's see, maybe it's not. Maybe that's a new power up punch. Um, This must be under the new power up punch mechanics, because no way a Blastoisk uh, would normally be able to take that. Gonna come in with uh, Defense Deoxys and gonna take out this Lucario up a shield. Let's see if being up a shield uh, matters more. Uh, gonna come in with Azumarill, interesting. Uh, Thunderbolt is gonna deal super effective damage versus this Azumarill. Let's see what type of Azumarill this is. Gonna do a lot of damage to the Azumarill. And then gonna put some pressure on. Let's see if his opponent was counting, because this is definitely gonna be a psycho boost. Uh, it doesn't shield. Um, I imagine a shield's gonna come up on Phantom Phantom Mystic. And gonna hit that psycho boost. Gonna force a shield, or this uh, Azumar is gonna go down. Does force a shield. So there must be something really weak to. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, definitely something. Very weak to uh, defense Deoxys in the back. It's going to be Probo Pass. Probo Pass, you know, taking double super effective damage from uh, from those counters. Um, hit the Rock Slide. And probably going to go for the Psycho Boost. And then probably gonna, just going to farm down this Azumarill. Oh, nope. The Azumarill has a little bit of fight in it. And but unless it's something like so extraordinarily weak to it, even if this is a play rough, doesn't matter. It's just an ice beam, so that's GG. So let's see. Gonna lead with Blastoise into Probo Pass. Nice, nice call. Blastoise such a good well actually no this is a interesting matchup because these Thunderbolts uh, definitely dealing super effective damage but these Hydro Cannons absolutely hurt from Blastoise so they would do a lot of damage and to be honest Blastoise could definitely survive a, th a Thunderbolt so let's see with Thunderbolt or a Rock Slide it ends up being a Rock Slide bait um, doesn't really matter too much because uh, it's gonna have to go for a second Rock Slide and Gonna come in with a Azu Azumarill, almost like pretty nice play, but unfortunately gonna hit by Ice Beam. Probably doesn't even need to shield necessarily, but if it doesn't shield and then the Azumarill decides to shield, then it's not a good news for the Venusaur, because um, that Azumarill would just have way too much health. So and, uh, it's gonna be very close. Uh, I think it does three quarters. Uh, yeah, very close. Okay, all right, nice play. Nice staying calm and composed. So many people, when they get hit by the ice beam, just like, oh, I fainted, but they really didn't just kind of stand there and don't really take advantage of the opportunity. So going to come in with Blastoise for sure and just, sh oh, no, not going to come with Blastoise. Okay, going to save that charge move for later because uh, Pearl Pass is not going to hit super hard with whatever it is. In this case, Rock Slide. Defense Yox is too tanky. 
uh, gonna come in Thunderbolt and then immediate hydro cannon absolutely immediate switch out immediate hydro cannon and then I'm just gonna faint down this uh, faint down this probe pass with water guns and GG uh, in game number one in round number five Oh, okay. Is that the? Oh, that. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's the second match. Okay, I'm clearly not paying attention or not focusing. It's a challenge in doing these ones. But uh, does that really just? Uh, or am I crazy? I guess I didn't. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna check quickly. Yeah, no, that was the case. Okay, yeah, that was the second match. Okay, my bad. All right, I'm really out of it. But I'm super busy these days. But anyways. If uh, congratulations, uh, Phantom Mystic, and thank you for the videos. If you guys want any of your videos uh, shoutcasted, uh, links in the description to the submission form. Um, really, really great play. Shows some really, really great play, especially with Blastoise and Togekiss. Uh, shows some really great common composure and, and utilize Defense Deoxys. It's hard not to use the, the utilize Defense Deoxys uh, correctly because it's so, so powerful. But really, really nice job. And... Uh, uh, links to his Twitter in the description. I think he's from Kuwait and looking to build the scene there. So if you live around the area or are looking for tournaments around the area, definitely hit him up. And uh, if you guys like this video, go to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.